Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are comparing the Stylus 5G 2022 to the 2024. Uh, this is just one of three videos that I'm going to be doing about this. And, you know, this is just for those that still have the 2022 model and are thinking, should they upgrade to the 2024 or wait until the 2025? Now, for the duration of this video, I am just going to call this 22 and this 24 to just shorten the name and get through this uh, without so much of, of, you know, repetition of the name. You guys know that these are the Moto G Stylus um, 5G models. And so I just need the last two digits of the year so you guys know which one I'm referring to. So please keep up with that. Before getting started, also, if you guys want to try out Helium Mobile and get your first month for free, the promo code is in my description of this video. Check it out. Upon sign up, when you're checking out to start your first month, right there where it says apply promo, type in my promo code. That'll get your first month for free once you proceed with checkout. Um, so you will not be charged the $20 for your first month. That's just for you guys to try out Helium Mobile, see how it works out for you. But anyways, um, so I am going to go over the specs between the 22 and the 24 model and um, help you guys, you know, for those who are interested and want to know. Um, all right, so let's start off with the display. So the display on the 22 is a 6.8 inch display and on the 24 is a 6.7 inch display. Uh, for the resolution on the 22, it's a 2460 by 1080 um, with a 20, 20, uh, 20 0.9 aspect ratio. Kind of weird how they have that all set out. But anyways, um, with uh, 395 pixels per inch. Now, with the 24 model, it is a uh, 2400 by 1080 at 20 by 9 aspect ratio, uh, 393 pixels per inch. Okay, there. Um, the 22 model is an IPS LCD display, and the 24 model is a POLED display. 90 hertz refresh on the 22, 120 hertz on the 24. You have a 84.96 uh, screen to body ratio on the 22, and an 87.39% on the 24. So um, on the 22, it's got a MediaTek Helio G88. And with the 24 model, it's got a Snapdragon Gen 6.1. Uh, for the GPU on the 22 is a Mali G52 MC2. And on the GPU with the 24 is an Adreno 600. You got uh, six gigabytes of RAM, depending on the variant model you have. Now, the model that I have is the Boost Mobile model. So technically it only has four gigabytes of RAM. Um, but they have that um, virtual RAM expansion, uh, RAM boost or whatever. And on the 24 model, it's got 8 gigabytes of LPDDR4X. So uh, both are at 128 storage capacity. And so with both of these devices, they do support expandable storage, 512 gigabytes on the 22 model and 2 terabytes on the 24 model. Um so the 22 started off with Android 11, and it is currently sitting on Android 13. And the 24 is sitting at Android 14, possibly may get Android 15 down the road. Both got a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. Um, the 24 model has the uh, fast charging wired at 30 watts and uh, wireless at 15 watts. The 22 model only has 10 watt wired charging. So with the cameras, on the 22, it's got a 50 megapixel PDFA, aperture size f1.9 with a focal length 26 millimeter. Um, and that is the main camera. You got an eight megapixel ultra wide. Uh, the aperture on that is a f2.2. And then you have a third camera on the 22 model, which is a depth, a two megapixel depth camera. The aperture size f2.2 the 24 model you got a 50 megapixel um, with optic instabilization you have an aperture rating of f1.8 on the main camera sensor and you got a 13 megapixel ultra wide at f2.2 aperture but no third lens uh lens or sensor for those who want to know uh, both have led flash uh the 22 has a 16 megapixel selfie cam the 24 model has a 32 megapixel so double the amount as far as body design, you have a uh, full-on polycarbonate plastic with the 22 model. And uh, with the 24 model, you got this vegan leather back and plastic sides. Um, so that is, you know, for the, uh, for the body in itself. 
Uh, when it comes down to the 22 model, it supports 5G at um, the bands N1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 13, 14, 20, 25, 29, 30, 38, 40, 41, 48, 66, 70, 71, 77, 78. Um, and the same goes with the 24 model. Just for those who want to know like what bands, what 5G bands it connects to. And they both got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack as well as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Type-C ports, all that good stuff when it comes down to it. So um, yeah, those are just a quick, well not quick, but those are the specifications between these two. Now, putting all specs aside between these two, you really got to kind of just think about like what is going on with Motorola. Because the thing about choosing a device with Motorola is choosing a device for the now. You're not really choosing a device for the future. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. This device went from Android 11 to Android 13, but it wasn't on par with the other Android devices out there. So it eventually got the, the next software update, maybe like a month or two, three months behind. That is something that we've dealt with when it comes to Motorola devices. Like Motorola is good. I don't hate Motorola. I want them to succeed. I love their products. But the problem with Motorola is software support. And that's something that you have to take into consideration. So if you're somebody that is not looking for something for the long run, you just want something for in the now, you know, something for the next year to use, then you'll be totally fine with either of these devices. Now, upgrading from the 22 to the 24, obviously, is worth doing. I mean, you're getting the latest Android with the 24. You're getting, um, you know, a little better specifications with the 24. And you're also getting um, a better biometric system. Whereas on the 24, you have an in-display fingerprint sensor, which, you know, you definitely can use to unlock your device. And with the 22, sorry, but that's on the side, which, you know, I get it's not, it's not that bad. I mean, if you're con you know constantly holding your device and you're right-handed, then obviously, you know, getting to it for a screen unlock is not going to be an issue at all whatsoever. But if you're a left-hander, now you're doing this really weird index, you know, finger uh, unlocking, literally having to hold it this way just to uh, just to get it to unlock. Uh, it's crazy weird. But I'm glad that they did in display with the uh, 24 model. Of course, the 22 model is taller. And it's got a little bit more screen than the 24 model, uh, but they're both pretty big, large displays. So viewing content on them is not going to be a problem at all. When it comes to audio, the 24 is an upgrade. This has better sounding speakers at a decent volume level than the 22 model. The 22 model, I'd have to have this thing up, like I said before, to like 85% to 100% in order to hear content. Whereas on here, I can have it as low as 32, 32% and I can still hear videos. So there's just this weird issue with the audio on the 22 model. So if that's something that's aggravated you, going to the 24 model is not bad at all whatsoever. However, um, you know, if you're wondering what 2025 is going to bring, none of us really know. So um, it's just really one of those things where it's like, do you want to sit and wait or do you absolutely need a new device now? You know, to be quite honest with everybody, um, not stepping into photos because I want to take these two phones out and compare their uh, photography uh, against each other. but they're both great phones. Um, if you're someone that's not worried about having the latest and greatest Android experience, like you, you don't have to have Android 15, you're okay on Android 14, you're okay on Android 13, as long as you know there's some security, then these will be fine. But that is the problem with them. <laughs> it's like not only the software updates lack with Motorola, but um, security patch lacks. Motorola does not have security patch updates every month. There's been times where like the, the last security patch update would have been February, 2024. And then the next one that I got was June, 2024. And in that time, there's been a lot of, you know, like, you know, bug security patches and stuff like that because of software. And you're missing out on that. And, you know, it's too soon to say if Motorola has changed that aspect with the 24 model. But so far I've been checking for updates and really haven't seen an update for this device yet at all whatsoever. So for me, that tells me, um, you know, I have to wait till October to be able to tell you guys that. And if there isn't an October security patch update, then great on Motorola. But if not, 
Oh man, that's gonna suck. Um, and for those who are asking, this is a Boost Mobile variant. I was able to um, unlock the bootloader on it. I uh, haven't found any custom ROMs for it just yet that I'm interested in, but there are some out there for the 22 models. So if you want to, you know, keep the life going on it, it's possible. Um, the 24 model, I mean, it just came out, so I don't even know if anyone's really kind of working on it, but I am looking to see, you know, if there is any, and I'll let you guys know in the next video on that. Uh, when it comes to the camera zone, even though I don't have photos to compare right now to show you guys, but I will tell you guys something. The stabilization on the 24 model is a bit better than on the 22. Yes, when you're running dual capture mode on either of these, then of course it's going to be really crappy as far as the image stabilization on one of the uh, you know current video, like the, the current recording of the video. So if you know the main camera may not have the best as you're walking and vlogging, but the inner window one, that's a selfie camera one, that's in dual capture mode will have the, sta the stabilization much better. Uh, that's with either one of these. But when it comes to just, you know, a singular video recording with the main camera sensor on the 24 has better image stabilization than on the 2020, the 22 model. Um, I've seen this, I've recorded video with this and video is good with this, still motionless, video fine. Once you start moving with this, the stabilization is just not there. Uh, I'm glad that the 2024 model has the stabilization, but um, you know, overall, I, I really enjoyed using both of these devices. This is still currently my uh, main daily driver device. This one currently has a SIM in it, so I can do some comparisons. Um, and I may hold, I may hold on to it just for pure joy. You know, me being a fan of mobile tech. But uh, there's more videos to come. So this is kind of like a part one type thing. There's more videos to come to compare between these two. Um, also, I am working on a comparison between this and the Pixel 8a. Uh, so that'll be coming down the road in the future, but let me know what your guys' thoughts are, you know, questions you may have, emotional outbursts, drop them in the comment section of the video. Smash the like button because it does help out the channel. Uh, share this on your favorite social platforms. And again, you guys can get one month free of Helium Mobile. Just use my promo code that's in the description for you guys, and you guys will get your first month for free. Thanks for checking out today's video. We'll talk to you on the next one. Law. I said we like I'm two different people, man. What's wrong with me?